Hey, see that? That is on my ceiling in my crib. Something I just added. Orioles flag on my ceiling of my crib. Why you say did I put that there? Because this week, this week they're going to be the American League East champions by Wednesday or Thursday. So I added that to my crib. I added that to my crib. I also added this sign here. Faith, family, freedom. Added that on here. Uh, let's see, what else did I add? Uh, last time was... I added a few more, few more stickers to the wall. Added a few more stickers. I got this from uh, Mason Merck, Metal Detecting. And I got this from Liberty, Lily Liberty. I added those two this week to my stickers. And let's see, what else did I add here? What else did I add? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, I added this from American Diggers. Uh, uh, certificate of Appreciation for my uh, article uh, displaying on a budget. Which is something I like to talk about. Videos out there of uh, guys that have thousands and thousands of subscribers, you know. Uh, I'm mostly a little guy in the scheme of things. Uh, I don't hunt as often as some of these guys do, and they go out there for hours and days at a time. I'm uh, in my 70s, so I gotta, you know, I usually go out for an hour and a half, two hours the most. And uh, by about halfway through there, my back starts bothering me because of my age, you know. But it is a good sport for older uh, Americans to do, you know, to, to, to be active, to get out there, especially during the spring and fall months. Summer, sometimes it gets freaking hot out there. But this year has been a bad year because it's been raining, 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 raining. And it wasn't, when it wasn't raining, raining the, the temperature was sky high and the humidity was high. But uh, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yes, uh, my crib is, uh, I'm calling it, that's all kinds of little stuff that I've gotten, uh, you know. I've been at this for about seven years now, something like that. So, I tried quite a few detectors and uh, right now I'm stuck on Garrett Apex. It's light, it does the job, uh, it's got different coils on it. Uh, I'm not too hot on multi-frequency multi right now. Sometimes I think it chatters more with the multi-frequency and it takes away from stuff, you know. I, I'm more, usually when I go out there, I'm using either 10 or 15 kilohertz when I'm hunting. 15 is closer to the AT Pro, I think AT Pro is 14 kilohertz. And uh, 10 I find, I find out quite a few coins with uh, the 10 kilohertz. My, uh, my first detector, no, my, not my first one, it was a Tahan. Found a lot of coins with that. Found my first large scent with the Tahan, the Soro Tahan. And I think that was about, uh, I don't know if it was seven or it was close to ten anyway. And I found quite a few coins with that machine. So that's why I like to flirt around with ten, fifteen. I'm, I use multi frequency very rarely, very rarely. Uh, but I like the machine, it's light, you don't need batteries, you plug it in to charge it, you know, you get the headphones, and you want to take your mind off stuff, you go out there, I don't care if it's for uh, an hour, you go to a, a, to a school ground where you get the wood chips, or, uh, or a soccer field, 
And uh, of course we don't, this is what uh, I hate. I see some videos on there of these guys in a park with these shovels digging these humongous holes. Sure, you're putting the, 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 the clod back in and stepping on to make sure it's, it's flat and stuff. But I just don't see, I just can't do it. I can't use a shovel like in a ball field or you know, on a soccer field or uh, a playground. Or the, the, there's a nice beautiful lawn out there. Why ruin the lawn with a freaking shovel? You know what I'm saying? And I know some guys have been on here saying, Oh no, you, you can't tell. You can tell you've been there. You can tell where those rings are after a while. They show up, okay? I just can't see doing it with a shovel. Uh, there's probably some nice finds I could have found if I would have gone deeper. But I, I, that's just not me. Uh, I could see using, I, I use a shovel when I'm in a farm field or a cornfield. That's fine. But when you're on a nice lawn, why do you want to ruin it for? You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. But I'm jabbering on here. But, uh, yeah, I found some, you know, for not uh, being in a sport that long, I found some interesting things. Like over here, I got a Union Civil War buckle that I found in a farm field. After the guys had just been there, they had just left. I thought it was a uh, a tractor park because we called it the tractor graveyard, and it looked like it was a nameplate for one of the tractors until I turned it over and saw the U.S. on it. I just about lost my cookies, <laughs> you know. That that's been my best find to date so far in that field. My second best find in that farm field was a two-headed large scent. And once again, my son had just been through there, and I, and I went through there behind him, and I, and I found that nice signal. And I thought it looked kind of thick, and, my, and it was pretty green. My son decided to take it home, and he called me up and told me, Dad, there's, there's two heads on that coin. I said, you're kidding me. He said, no. And sure enough, it was uh, somebody had put the coins together, and it looked like there's a little, little, uh, Weld this, or not a weld, like a rivet in the middle, holding the two coins together. But uh, that was that was my second best one. Now talking about two heads are better than one. This past week, I just went to a the school soccer field and uh, dug up what I thought was a regular quarter, a modern clad quarter, and uh, I dig it up and I wipe it off quarter, trying to see if I can see the date. I turn it around, real quick, turn it back, then I did, did a double take, so wait a minute, I turn it back around, and it was a two-headed quarter. Uh, and both sides had one, uh, 1983, with the, uh, the P uh, mark on it. Both. So, who would have thought that in the short seven years I've been doing it, that I find two coins with, two foot coins, in, in a short time span of that, you know, it's amazing. But anyway, I'm, I'm jabbering on here. I'm just trying to uh, let you know uh, that the sport is good. If, if your back doesn't bother you too much, it's great. Try it out. You know, get, if you, you want to start out with a cheap detector, what I would do is go for the, uh, the Simplex. Look, the Simplex. It's uh, 200 something dollars. Beautiful, waterproof, does the job. And then if you want to get something there to later, go ahead. But just to try it out, try the Simplex. You can't go wrong. Uh, some of my friends use the Simplex. My son has a Simplex also. But, uh, and then I went from detecting to bottle, bottle hunting. That was fun. But I have to get, uh, I don't know. Right now I have a little claw tool. To go inside to try to dig stuff up, but I want to get one with a long handle, as I they'll do less bending that way, you know. But I found a few a few good bottles, you know, in my day, a few good bottles.
And uh, of course you find, uh, along with the bottles, you find uh, oh, tin cans and stuff like that, you know. But it's, that's a good, a good uh, thing to do would be bottle hunting. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's see, I got quite a few videos on YouTube and Rumble. YouTube and Rumble. I have uh, videos on both of those. Uh, I've been on YouTube the longest. But I've noticed that when I post them on Facebook, I have a Facebook page called uh, Main Diggers or Digging Main. I can't remember. It sucks getting old. But anyway, I found that I have more <clears throat> Uh, subscribers to my YouTube page. No, sorry. I have more subscribers to my Facebook page than I have to my YouTube page. So what I've been doing is posting it all on Facebook. And I'm getting more hits than I am on YouTube. And uh, I put them also on Rumble. Because over there I can put stuff that you're not allowed to on YouTube, you know. Because you got to be Politically correct, you know what I'm saying? Like, my son, uh, the last hunt, he came with me. He can't do it as often as he used to because he's got Parkinson's, but... The last, hunt, he, the last hunt, he came with me at the farm and he found a uh, buffalo nickel. He thought it was silver. I told him it wasn't because he only made silver 44-45. But uh, he got a, a buffalo. I haven't found a buffalo, buffalo nickel yet. But he, but he did, you know. And uh, I found quite a few Indian head pennies. And he was after that. That that was his white whale. He was always at, after the Indian head penny. And he finally got one. And that thing was a beaut. I mean, you can read both sides of this thing. It's like it's, it must have, somebody must have dropped it when it was brand new. And he had to go dig pretty, pretty deep to get it, you know. Even when he had a, he, he had found a real. I haven't found a real yet. He found a real. He still wasn't happy. He wanted that, he wanted that Indian head penny, you know. So now I don't know what his white whale is now, after all this time, I don't know. But he's quite a talented young man, my son. He's, uh, he's good with his hands. He's the one that did my, my sheath for my, uh, my hand, my hand tool. He's done a wallet for me. Uh, he he does knives. Very talented. And even though he has Parkinson's, he doesn't let it. He doesn't let it slow him down. You know he's remarkable. I am so proud of him. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's about it. I think. <laughs>